Hello everyone, this is Korean Billy, American Daniela, and South African Chantal. That's a long one, South African, <laughs> South African <laughs> Chantal. <laughs> so today I'm with my American mate and South African mate, and since I am with them, I want to talk about the differences between British English, American English, and South African English. Today I've prepared our eight pictures, and I am going to ask you guys what you call the object in the Picture. Okay, ready? Yep, yeah. ready. ready. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> the first one is this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say the British English. So I believe in British English, people call it trainers. Yeah, trainers. Right. Yeah. What about American English? Sneakers. Sneakers. We yeah, don't sneakers. really use trainers. We say tackies. Tackies. Tackies, tackies like T E K K I E S. I wonder why. Tuckies. Why is it called tackies? I have no idea. So when I came to Korea, I was asking about tackies, and no one knew what I was talking about. So I was like, um, trainers, sneakers. Because they stick like a tack. <laughs> so <laughs> in South Africa, if you ask for tackies, everyone will know what it is. Oh. Is it from like another language? Or I'm not sure. Remember, we have 11 national languages, so yeah. we use kind of words from Afrikaans, English, and some of the black national languages yeah. too. So it could be from that. I'm not even sure, actually. Is it your first time to hear the word tuckies? Yeah, that was, that was the first time. Yes. God. Mm. But you have to make a strong K, like tacky. Tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know we have like a shoe store called Tacky Town. Oh, wow. <laughs> tacky Town. <laughs> tacky Town. <laughs> All of the shoes, so your Nikes, and everything is there. So. Wow, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and you just call it sneakers. Right? Yeah, sneakers. And what about trainers? Do you also get trainers? We use trainers for a specific type of shoe because there are different kinds of shoes. There's one for running, one for training. Right. So, and there are like for... running shoes and training shoes mm -hmm. and casual shoes, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And dress shoes, right? Yeah. So, so we would just say sneakers for that one. When South African people hear words like sneakers or trainers, mm. you guys get what that means, Oh, right? we know. You know, we definitely know sneakers and I always knew trainers too, but I suppose some might not, but I think sneaker might be more common than, than trainers. Uh, next one is this one. <laughs> right. Oh. I think British people call it a toilet or with slang, loo, mm. right? Bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> a bathroom. A bathroom. Yes. A bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Mm -hmm. What about like restroom? Oh yeah, bathroom, restroom. <laughs> it depends on where it is, I guess. But I guess the nicer way, we think, I think we use restroom more for when we go to a restaurant. Yeah. So like, oh, excuse me, where's, you know, where's the restaurant, you know, mm -hmm. or restaurant, where's the restroom? Yeah. <laughs> Not restaurant. Not restaurant. Restroom at restroom. Yes, right. <laughs> I meant, yes. So they ask, well, excuse me, like, where's the, you know, where's the restroom, you know, Ooh, instead of okay. toilet. Yeah. So is the restroom more like a fancy one? rather than bathroom. Yeah, I feel like it's a fancier way of saying <laughs> of a, a toilet. Where's the toilet? You know? Yeah, outside, when you ask him where that is. Yeah, it's kind of like the toilet. Don't try and make it fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I say restroom. I feel that's, that's more formal okay. way of saying. So what about South African English? Um, we use bathroom or toilet or loo. Mm. I normally say I'm going to loo. Um, not restroom so much, actually. I heard it a lot more working with my American colleagues, yeah. Mm. What do all the signs like, say usually in buildings? Uh, toilet, I think. What about WC? Yeah. Did you use that? Water closet? Yeah. No, we don't have that, no. We don't have that? No. That's really funny. Do you? No, no, we don't have that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I think that's the, only the British thing. Probably, though. yeah. It's yeah. just fun to say water closet. Yeah, when I found out it meant water closet, I was like, really <laughs> surprised. That is strange. Is that where water yeah. comes I think from? some people say lavatory. Oh, yeah, yeah lavatory. Yeah, lavatory. It's an older term, I think. Yeah. If you're trying to be fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you also so use lavatory? No, not no. very often. The next photo is this one. So in British English, uh, people call it just traffic lights. Yeah, right? traffic light. You too? Yeah, traffic light, traffic sign, no matter traffic okay. light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about South Africa? It's another crazy one. We call it a robot. What? <laughs> it's a robot? <laughs> yes. The robot. robot. Why? Why a robot? Do you know? 
like the Maybe history behind that? Maybe because they are electronically. I have no idea. But yes, yeah, so I never thought it's just a South African thing. So when mm -hmm. I came here as well, I was talking about the robot and people are like, the robot. Yeah. The what? <laughs> like, turn left like, of the robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, robot. So like, you, you go past this robot, you turn left at this robot and that's what we call it, but I we know traffic light, of course. Yeah. But it's a robot. Maybe that's because it's kind of like automatic machine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Which maybe, changes maybe, the yeah. color. Also, I've heard people say stoplight in, stop yeah, in, in America. Oh no, we yeah. don't use that. But the stoplight like have three different colors. I know. Color lights. I guess people just. <laughs> relate that to, gosh, I have to yeah. stop because if you see the red light. <laughs> then what about just usual robots? Are they also called robots? No, we don't really have that many. <laughs> no, okay. So that's the only robot you guys have. I uh, okay, wouldn't say that. Do you call robots something different? <laughs> no, no, no. We've got, no, you know, just different categories. Oh, okay. robots. Is it your first time to hear the word like robot? Yes, <laughs> robot. But it does make sense. I mean, it's kind of like a yeah, robot, an AI does. machine. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We just had more sense than other people. Yeah. yeah. I suppose. <sighs> Come on, America. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, Love you guys. <laughs> and next one is this one. All right. I believe British people call it boot, right? Mm -hmm. Not boots, boot. But what about America? A trunk. Trunk. Yeah, trunk. Yeah. We are the same. It's a boot. It's a boot. boot. Yes, ah, yes. That's the same. It's nothing fancy. Yeah. Why is it the boot? No, I'm not sure. So why is it called trunk? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a trunk. Yeah. Or I guess because you could put you in could the put past, in you it. you would call a suitcase a trunk too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why it's a trunk. That mm -hmm. makes sense. But I don't understand the boot part. Yeah. In that case, South African word and British word is the same. Yes. Yeah. So I lose. <laughs> <That's a trolley laughs> <weird. laughs> and the next one is this one. Oh, Yummy! That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. So hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I would say in UK English, it's just called barbecue, right? Yeah. What about American? Um, well, it depends on the food. Yeah. But yeah, barbecue. You know, we barbecue things as well. Barbecue. So barbecue. Yeah. Oh. But we don't call it barbecue. It's fry. Braai. If you speak Afrikaans, it's braai. Braai. Bri. We are now going to braai. Bri. Bri. We're going to braai. <laughs> braai <Bri> tonight. <laughs> That's not Scottish though. That's not braai. We actually have a joke. Like we say South Africa's like solution to problems is let's braai. <laughs> we do That's love fun. We do love braai oh, and we God. do it a lot on weekends especially. You invite friends or it doesn't yeah. even need to be a special occasion. Like yeah. at home Saturday nights my dad braais and wow. We had to go home and have supper with my mom and dad and them. So, wow. so when you say bride, does it both mean the meat or the occasion at the same time? Both. I invite my friends over for a bride, mm. you know, and then everyone knows you bring your meat, you bring your drinks, and I supply oh. the bride. Oh, <laughs> the bride, that was. Sounds really exotic. Yeah, yeah. it sounds, it delicious. sounds fun to say. <laughs> Bri. When Bri. I when I hear bry, I'm like meat. I think <laughs> meat and beer. I was like bry. Oh, <laughs> the nice yes. cold beer. I'm thinking meat, meat, <laughs> meat, meat, <laughs> steak. Speaking of barbecue, actually, the next photo is this one. <gasps> okay, oh, yummy. So in British English, I believe it's called just sausage. Mm. Then what about American English? Sausage, I think. Sausage, yeah. right? sausage. Mm -hmm. Vors. What? Mm. So, <laughs> we call it sausage or vors. Vors. So it comes from the Afrikaans, the Dutch side. It's oh. actually boerenvors. Boerenvors. Oh. For short, we just say vors. Um, now that sounds French or <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm brushing with the braai and the, <laughs> the brush and braai. That's really, it's really interesting. I know. I so much about you. I forget how much <laughs> weird words we have. Actually. No, they're fun. <laughs> then do Afri South African people call it uh, both sausage and bush yes. at the same yes. time? Yes. So yeah. if you call, you know, if you call it sausage, it's perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. um, I think just purely South African people, we call it vors, you know, mm -hmm. or buddha vors. Yes. Yeah. Then the next one is this one. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. I would say in British English they are called sweets, mm. right? Mm -hmm. What about American? Candy. 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 
I might say sweets too. Sweets. Mm. What about candy? You don't really use no, that. No, I think we we've started using it because of you know American TV and everything. Mm. But I grew up with sweets. You know. Sweets. Yeah, it's it. What about you? Do you use sweets or something? No. Like if you want something sweet, yeah, yeah you can say candy, or you know, be more specific, saying, yeah. oh, can I have some you know gummies or mm. Um, mm. you know gummies. hard candy yeah. or but only gum. as adjectives, right? Yeah. Not now. No, not sweets. Or and lollies. You... Lollies. Uh -huh. uh. Is that for a lollipop? I think it? lollipop is lollipop. I kind of remember lollies because I haven't eaten these in ages. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think lollies are like smaller ones. Yes, oh, the nope. small sweets yeah. type of things, maybe. Yeah, use that word. It's <laughs> <was> like candy. <laughs> Next one is this one. I believe in British English, they are called maize. No oh, maize. Yeah, maize. And American one? Uh, corn. 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 Mm. Yes. But have you ever heard of maize? Yes, probably in the pioneer days, you know, uh. where the settlers <laughs> first came <laughs> to America. And, and you remember those days? Well? Yes, I remember those days. <laughs> what about South Africa? We use maize and mealy. 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 Was that how you spell it? M i e l i e. <laughs> <Next time. laughs> it's such a fun um, yeah. word, Millie. <laughs> what about corn? No, not really. Oh. It's, it's not so much. So is Millie more common than like maize when you say that thing? I think 50-50. Oh, I yes. see. When I see the spelling, it doesn't really look like English word no. or something, right? Not at all. The word Millie. Is it no. your first time? Yes. First time hearing that <laughs> again. We haven't had the Millie conversation Millie. yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. You're learning a lot. Yeah, I am learning a lot. So today we've been talking about the vocabulary differences between British English, American English, and South African English, and it's been really, really fun. Thank you so much for joining me. It was fun. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So if you like this video, don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. And I'm gonna see you again in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.